So you wanna start skating. You've been bombarded with all of the Instagram posts. You saw that one girl skating that one time in that one place and she just looked so free. And FOMO has finally won out and you have decided that you need to get a pair of skates. The only problem is you don't even know where to begin. Well, my name is Deja and with my five months of roller skating experience that basically makes me a master on the topic, I am going to lead you in the right direction when it comes to purchasing your first pair of skates. I'm gonna use this knowledge that I have acquired for good because nothing sucks worse than someone who has knowledge and refuses to share it. That is not us. We will not do that to you today. Also, something that you can benefit from is my ADHD makes me obsessively pursue new hobbies to the point that I am sick of them. And that means that I actually have three pairs that we can go ahead and talk about that could kind of help you get a visual of the direction that you want to go. Without further ado, let's go ahead and step into my office. skates we're going to provide you with the knowledge that you need to be successful so the first thing that you would want to focus on when you're buying skates is what is the type of skating that i want to do do i want to do derby skating do i want to do jam skating rhythmic skating do i want to do artistic skating jb trucking do i want to do footwork once you kind of know what style of skating that you want to do that's going to make it that much easier for you to determine what type of skate you're gonna go for. So go ahead and pop into some hashtags on Instagram and then find out, ooh, what do I want to do? If you are scrolling through Instagram and something makes your heart go pitter patter, that might be the style of skating that you want to give a try. So first thing, know what type of skating that you want to do. The second thing that you're gonna focus on is comfort. Does this boot feel good to me and here's why because if your boot feels terrible you are not going to enjoy skating you are going to think you're bad at skating you're going to think skating is not for me and then you're going to put your boots in the closet and you're not going to touch them again for four years and every time you see someone on instagram you're going to think about how you tried skating but it's just not for you and we don't want that i want you to go outside and feel the sun on your face and skate your pants off. That is what I want for you. I want this for you so badly. So it's important that you make sure your boots are comfortable. What we're not going to do is we are not going to try on boots that are too small. We are not going to have boots where our toes are pushed up against the front and we're just gonna roll with it because we wanna skate so bad. We are not going to do that because we are able to delay instant gratification and we can hold out for a boot that's good for us. Oh dear, it would appear that my assistant forgot to change the batteries like she was supposed to. Nymeria. Where were we? Comfort. Yes, we're gonna make sure our boots are nice and comfortable. No matter what style of skating we decided to do, the most important thing is, does my boot feel good to me? We can swap out everything else on your boot. The one thing that we can't really swap out is the comfort of the boot. So making sure that it fits and it feels good and we actually wanna skate while we're in it. The next thing is budget. So, <laughs> your girl got champagne taste on beer money, so. It's very, very important that we are making sure to stay within our budget. If you are looking at $400 skates and you have never even attempted skating, I'm gonna just save you. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Buying $400 skates is not gonna make you a better skater. Find something that's gonna be within your budget and just focus on, does this boot feel comfortable? If you have a local store, a local skate store where you have the ability to go try on those skates, I would 100% recommend trying them on, seeing how they feel when your foot's actually in them versus thinking that you need to purchase something because everyone else has it. No one else matters. The only thing that matters is if you feel good in these boots. Do not allow Instagram or anything like that to make you feel like you need to have a hella expensive pair of boots. That's not, that ain't it. 
comfort? Is this in my budget? Does this fit with my style of skating? Once you've figured that out, everything else is gonna be soup of the day. You can swap out everything else. You can swap out the wheels. You can swap out the toe stops. These are the toe stops that actually came with these and I have some jam plugs in there now. And I'll actually do a video on toe stops versus jam plugs a little bit later. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Once you narrow down those three things, you're gonna be good to go. Let's talk about the skates that I currently own. We'll start out with the hard boots versus the soft boots. So the hard boot that I own, we'll let it have its own stage, is the Moxie Beach Bunny. So I call it a hard boot because it it's it's, a hard boot versus like a softer suede or a leather boot. This boot is nice and stiff. It is perfect for beginners because it'll give you that ankle support that will help you feel comfortable with skating. You'll feel supported. This was actually the boot that made me feel the most comfortable. I actually owned a pair of boots before I got these ones and those boots, I knew immediately that this was not gonna work and I'm not gonna shade any skate company, but this boot I tried on, I knew that I would quit skating if I kept those. So I ended up purchasing these and these immediately made me feel better. They've got a thick tongue that's going to help you feel supported. The plate is very heavy, so you're not going to move too fast in these. You don't need to worry about going too quickly because they are so heavy, meaning that you are going to have to push with these bad boys. So great beginner skate. They come with super gummy wheels. These are outdoors. That's another element that you're going to want to pay attention to. The, am I going to be skating indoor or am I going to be skating outdoor majority of the time? There's indoor wheels, there's outdoor wheels, there's hybrid wheels that you can rock with both indoor and outdoors. That's also going to be another video, but just something to keep in mind that these Moxie Beach Bunnies come with outdoor wheels, meaning that they're nice and soft and grippy. They can run over sticks and eat rocks every time I have outdoor wheels and I run over sticks or rocks I think of like the cookie monster. No, 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 no. So these eat up all of those, all of those things. I don't know about where you guys live, but Nashville's hella rocky and sticky. And so outdoor wheels definitely help that. So these were a very good first boot, very comfortable. I only wore these for, for like maybe less than a month before my ADHD told me that I needed to buy new skates. And they already started to kind of, wherever my ankle was bending, they started to, make like this indentation here where it was cracking. So that's just something to kind of keep keep aware of. But overall, very hardy skate. You can kind of feel, feel substantial. Good skate though. So these are Moxie Beach Bunnies. The next skate that I own was Moxie Lollies. So these are the skates that you hear everyone talking about on Instagram. The ones that you often think that you need in order to be a good skater, which was what I did. I was like, oh my God, I wanna be great. I should get some Moxie Lollies. And these are great. These are, these are hella fast. They are way faster than my Beach Bunnies straight out the box. I almost felt uncomfortable going from my Beach Bunnies to these. These definitely felt more advanced. The stock plate's nylon, which means that it's gonna be much lighter than this plate that comes on the, the stock Beach Bunny. These wheels are Moxie Fun Days, so they're a much harder wheel. They're great for spinning, small maneuvers, and things like that. So these ones did not come stock on here. These actually came with some larger gummy wheels. I, I, I think these are the same hardness as the Beach Bunny 78A. So just know that these are the ones that actually come stock with it. These actually came stock with a traditional toe stop, but I changed them out for jam plugs. Very fast boot. They're much faster to put on than the Beach Bunnies. The Beach Bunnies take a little bit longer to put on just because I think the tongue is so thick and the boot is so hard, it's just not really flexible. The cool thing about Moxie Lollies is that they start to mold to your foot shape. So after you've broken them in a little bit, they'll mold to your foot. The tongue is nice and thin. Overall, it's very lightweight, very fast boot. If you are moving towards advanced and it's time to upgrade, not necessarily that your mind is telling you that in order for you to be a better skater, you need to own Moxie Lollies, but if it's time and you want to upgrade, this would be a solid boot to upgrade to. It's nice and soft, it's fast, it's lightweight. You, you can't really can't really go wrong with it. Now, let's talk about my moon boots. So my moon boots, these are my babies. I did not expect to like these as much. I actually found out that Moonlight Rollers was a black owned business and I was like, well, I'm gonna purchase these skates simply because of that. But once I got them, 
Once I got them, I absolutely fell in love. So these particular boots, they're part of a collaboration. I don't know if you can get this particular color right now with the heart shape, but I'm sure that they'll come out with another variation or another collaboration. These actually did not come with jam plugs either. I swapped those out. They came with these super cute little heart toe stops and they didn't come with these wheels. They came with, I wanna say some 92A wheels. So these are actually luminous wheels. We'll break down wheels in another video, but just know that these luminous wheels make me feel like I am skating on butter and it doesn't matter what I'm going over, cracks, potholes, I feel so supported in these wheels. They eat up everything and I like them in indoor, I like them outdoor. I just know that if I'm traveling, then I can put these wheels on and be good to go and not have to worry about changing out my wheels or anything like that. So I, I absolutely love these wheels. The boot itself, I would say, is like a perfect mixture of the Moxie Lolly and the Moxie Beach Bunny. And here's why. Whereas the Beach Bunny is super hard, very, very stiff, um, which is great. I like the ankle support, but the tongue was like this weird internal fabric that kind of made it made it very hard to put on. Um, and you can tell, not on this one, but because I was pulling the tongue to pull them up, this part started to like wear down. So they're very thick and the lollies are very soft. You have almost no ankle support. Like every, you're like naked, your ankles are almost naked in the lollies the shoe forms to your foot and it's almost like they're like an extension of you which i guess they should be your skate should feel like an extension of you but the moon boot is kind of like the perfect combination between the two so it's nice and soft it definitely feels like an extension of me but it still has a little bit of thickness to where i feel supported the way that i did in the beach bunny the tongue is nice and thick feels really good you guys can see it's a part of it versus Something like this, where it's this and then whatever the hell fabric this is. I don't know what it is, but it just feels so good. These are like my Goldilocks boots. Like, this one is too hot, this one is too soft, this one is just right. Sorry. So, yes, I absolutely love this boot. It also molds to your foot, so you do get that feeling. It feels like it's a part of you, but it also makes you feel supported and still very lightweight now. These were not initially lightweight. I actually swapped out the plates, basically the ones that come stock on the lollies. I'll put the name of it in the description box. When I first got these bad boys, they were heavy as hell. And I was like, I cannot, especially after skating on the moxie lollies for, you know, two months, I knew that I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit faster, so I swapped out this plate. And now, not only are they fast, but they are hella comfortable. I have absolutely zero complaints about this skate, other than the fact that it, it came with that super heavy plate. Like, if I had the ability to customize it or actually buy from Moonlight Roller and have them just swap out the slide for me, I would. I actually think that they are doing something with slides. I'm not sure the details on it just yet. I absolutely love this boot. I 100% recommend it. It feels very soft. It feels soft, but I actually enjoy that and it allows me to skate for a very long time. Sometimes I'll have hour, two hour sessions and they just feel good. They feel amazing. So I'll definitely be buying more Moonlight Rollers. Hopefully that was super duper helpful. All of these skates are great. I love all of them. They all have, they all serve a specific purpose, but ultimately the things that's gonna matter the most is does this boot feel good to me? And if it feels good, your toes aren't scrunched, you're not feeling wobbly or anything like that, then skate with it. You don't need to have a big brand name skate or anything like that. Do what is best for you, what is best for your pockets, what is best for your feet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know anything else that you want to see. I'll go ahead and try and get it covered for you. Thank you so much for being here. You could have been anywhere else, but you are here and I hope to see you in the next one.